What is going on guys? Brutal Life back with another video and today we have the Survivor Series Wave 2 Elite Series figures. We picked these up from eBay. Yes, we picked them up from eBay. Got a great deal on these. I paid $60 for all of them. Free shipping. $3 for tax, but yes, we got Shinsuke Nakamura, Don Moronko, Jeff Hardy, and Alicia Fox at the top of the little tower right there. We are going to be getting into these figures. We're going to be unboxing these figures, reviewing these figures in this video, so stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get into all of them. Boom, let's do it. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the Shinsuke Nakamura. No particular reason why we're starting with Shinsuke. I just thought, I mean, this figure's awesome. All of them are. But, yes, yeah, Shinsuke decked out in the blue. We've never really seen him in blue. He's always, when he comes out with Elite figures, it's normally black or red. But, yeah, the main color is obviously red. But, yeah, blue attire here for Survivor Series. Of course, when he was on SmackDown, there's a picture of Shinsuke right there. He got a picture of Shinsuke on the back doing a Kane Sasha kick to Kevin Owens right there. Some info if you guys would like to pause the video right there. Other people in the series again, which you guys will see reviewed and unboxed in this video. Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke Nakamura, which we're going to do right now. And of course, Don Moronko. Alright guys, here we have Shinsuke Nakamura looking absolutely awesome. Here he is decked out again in the blue for SmackDown Live, of course. Before we get into the action figure, I want to talk about the interchangeable hands. They look great. Look, of course, we've seen him in the past with the Ultimate Editions. Of course, it's Shinsuke's like classic when he does like the all weird hand and arm poses. They look really good. Love the look of those. Of course, you could interchange them on the freaking figure whenever you want. Here's a look at the figure. There's the head scan right there. Of course, we've seen this one before. I think we've seen it on the Defining Moments and also in the Ultimate Edition figure. But yeah, very cool. Of course, you can see his mouth guard there. Awesome looking Shinsuke head scan. Love the look of it. Of course, the hair going more to the right side like he always has. And then the shaved on the left looking really good. There is the blue top. I did leave it on for now. We are going to take it off, but before we do, let's take a look at it. Looking really nice. Love the way they cut it here. Again, just basic blue, but I love how it is not rubber. I love how they made it in that like fake leather material, which I love. I love the fake leather material. They did it with, recently with the sh uh, Finn Balor uh, Elite 74 figure, which I love. Picked that up from Ringside Collectibles, but yeah, putting that aside, here we have this blue armband, which also looks amazing. There it is on the Left arm right there. Of course, you can change it. Put it on the right if you would like. But yeah, blue armband right there looking really nice. There is the good old blue wrist tape with the silver studs looking really nice. Really love this torso choice for Shinsuke. I think it's really cool. Moving down, you do have the blue belt with more silver studs. Uh, keeping the trend going with the um, a belt and, of course, the wrist tape. You got to love that. If you turn the legs inside out right there, you could see the blue lining. Kind of reminds me of Braun Strowman's first ever elite figure, how he had the black in here. But here we're getting it with Shinsuke with some blue. Love that. Of course, elite articulation on all of these as well. But yeah, very freaking nice looking Shinsuke. Absolutely freaking love it. Guys, next figure we have up here is Jeff Hardy, one that I'm really, really, really excited about. I've really anticipated Jeff Hardy figure. Can't wait to get this open, of course. Brand new head skin with the dreads. Awesome looking armbands. Awesome looking attire. We're gonna crack it open. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we do, let's take a look at the packaging. There's a look at Jeff here in the packaging. Same kind of style of packaging as Shinsuke. There's Jeff on the side looking demented and freaking awesome. Love this guy. Jeff Hardy's freaking awesome. Has some info on the back. If you guys would like to pause the video to read. Other people in the series yet again. Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, and Don Moronko. Let's crack open Jeff Hardy. All right, guys, here we have Jeff Hardy. If my voice changed, that's because my mic ran out of batteries. But here we have Jeff Hardy looking really, really cool. Oh, my God. Look at that head scan, dude. Yo, that Jeff looks insane. One of the best Jeff Hardy head scans. Oh, my God. Look at those dreads, dude. Yo, that is so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that logo. Oh my god, of course, Hardy Boys. Yo, this figure's so insane. Now I know what Swan Tom Bomb Fig was talking about. Yo, this figure's crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at the armbands here. So cool. I love the look, how their armbands are shorter, because normally in all of his Elite figures, the armbands are all the way hiked up here, but they're a little shorter, which adds that little effect to it. I love the look of that. Of course, you got green over here, and then you got more of like a purple style over here so cool man i love that you got the dean ambrose style tank top right there looking awesome going all around the figure you got this gold and white belt which looks so cool love that and then the black pants right here of course you got the pockets on both sides we've seen the pants before and then moving 
down. You do have the black shoes with the white kick pads. Oh my God, I can't even wrap my head around how amazing that head scan looks, dude. That is insane. And this, of course, uh, sweatshirt right here. So freaking cool. Love that, dude. Yo. And then you do have the interchangeable hands right there, which I forgot to mention. Of course, you did get one, you do get one that's yellow and one that's purple right there, of course, because the different colors are armbands. But yeah, dang, dude, that chef is insane. All right, guys, next figure we're gonna hop in here to here is Don Morocco, which looks super cool. Very, this is a very interesting, cool looking figure. I love the tie dye, I love the blue. Looks very cool. Don Morocco, super cool. One of the rarest out of the series. Uh, believe it or not, one of the rarest out of the series as well. But yeah, super cool looking packaging here. Oh yeah, of course. Pause the video if you guys want to read that. Other people in the series, you got Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, and Don Morocco. Let's crack Don Morocco right open. Right, guys, here we have Don Morocco looking super cool. I First of all, head scan. Oh my god. Spot on right there looking so cool. Oh my god, dude. So freaking cool. Love the style of the hair. I think that looks really cool. Love the color as well. Just looks so freaking real and awesome, dude. Yo, that's sick. Here's the only uh, accessory he comes with. Besides the interchangeable hands, you do have this awesome looking tie-dye shirt, which is so cool. You got some red, yellow, red, yellow. Uh, you got some blue in there. So freaking cool. And it's like a tank top too, which is super cool. And of course, you go from the back if you would like. You could take that off. Oh, yo. Oh my God, that is so sick. And then moving in the Morocco figure without the shirt on. He does have the white wrist tape. You got the light blue style of shorts here. Nothing too crazy with this attire, uh, besides, of course, the uh, tie-dye shirt, which is crazy. But otherwise, just the regular attire looking pretty cool here, using sort of like a Rusev style legs and uh, basically just a Rusev figure here, just repainted. But yes, st still absolutely awesome. Love it. You got these massive blue Knee pads right there looking really cool. I like how you can see some of the socks coming out of the shoes. I think that's very awesome. And then he does have these baby blue style of um, boots right here with some white laces and some white shoes. Oh, I mean white boot. Oh, ugh, white soles. But yeah, super cool. Oh my God, dude. So sick. All right, guys. Last figure and certainly not least. I'm really interested to take a look more the hat than the Alicia Fox figure, if I'm being completely honest, but I'm really looking forward to getting into this figure, so without further ado, let's do it. Survivor Series, Alicia Fox, again, elites, just like all the others. There's a picture of Alicia on the side right there, looking really cool. It says Alicia Fox on the side right there, which is awesome. On the back, if you guys would like to pause the video to read right there, I'll open the series for the last time. You got Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke, Don Morocco. Super cool. I picked these up from eBay one more time. If you guys want to pick some up for yourself, Ringside Collectibles also has them for sale. Discount code live if you guys want to pick them up from over there. But without further ado, let's crack Alicia Fox right open. Oh my God, guys. Here it is. Yo. What? Yo, what is that? Look at that hat, dude. Oh my gosh, we gotta take a look at this hat before we even get into this figure. That is insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I saw an interview with Bill. I don't know where it was. That, of course, designer at Mattel for Elite Figures. He said that this hat was more money to make and design and to build than this Alicia Fox figure. Can you believe that? I fully understand. Look at the molding that had to have went into this hat. It's so ugly, but it's so cool. You can see some birds. You can see, if you look closely, you can see the ears of a fox on both sides. Some more birds, some green, some red, whatever that red stuff is, just fall. Those might be roses falling all over the figure, but dang, dude. And there's the fox tail peeping out of the back right there. You got some brown hair and whatever. I Oh my God, this is just crazy. This is, I don't even know what to, this is so cool. Definitely one of the, this is the best hat we have ever gotten with, a, with, any, act, with, with any WWE Elite figure. I'm speechless. This is insane. I cannot believe this. Of course, you can see around the packaging right there wearing this freaking thing. That is insane. Here it is. Here's how it looks with her wearing it. It fits her pretty well. It's not gonna fall off too easily. I mean, I could tilt it over. It's not gonna fall off. It's molded to her head, which Mattel sometimes does that, but I'm really glad they're doing it with this figure. There's the hat, which is awesome. Love that. Here, Bob, but yeah. 
Here is the Alicia Fox figure right here, which looks really good as well. I'd love to look at this figure as well. Love to look at that head scan. Look, I think it looks exactly like Alicia Fox. I think it looks really cool. I love the um, hair color change, like the, uh, I don't know if they call them like highlights, I think, at the tips of the hair right here. I like the look of that. I think that looks really cool. Same uh, thing on the back. Love that. And of course, the main uh, little color to her top here is Monday Night Raw, of course. The classic Raw logo right there. Of course, she was like the team captain or something for this Raw team, and everybody was like, oh my god, why is Alicia Fox the team captain? Because she was like a big joke or something. But yeah, uh, I barely remember it because that's when Raw was like, oh my god, so bad. But yes, uh, Raw is starting to become a little bit good. Oh, a little better. But that's for another video. Stay tuned for that. But yes, um, to talk about Raw and SmackDown, of course. But yeah, here's the Alicia Fox figure. There's the arms. You got some nice nylon arm cover th things for the side there. You got some white and silver lining going down the side. This figure did not come with interchangeable hands or double jointed knees, which is interesting. Might have This figure might have been designed before they even got to that. But yeah, very cool looking pants right here. Of course, you can see the Alicia Fox logo throughout the pants. Moving all the way back, you got that silver little stripe there. And then, th excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Uh, moving to the legs here, you got some really, really long socks. You got a picture of a heart right there with some black and gray on the socks there, and then you got some red. I'm not sure if you could consider these knee pads or are those socks. Not really sure about that, but yeah, very cool. Anyways, and then you do have the um, Alicia Fox logo right there on the cake pads as well. Very nice looking. Oh my gosh, so cool. And then the black on the shoes with the, again, red kick pads. Oh, but this, guys, I, again, I'm just speechless with this hat. Yo, that is insane. Look at that. That is insane, dude. I just, I can't, I, 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 again, I'm speechless. You guys have to buy the figure in order to like, just take this hat in. Like, that is insane. I cannot, I still can't believe it. But yes, guys. Okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, definitely make sure to check out some of my others. A bunch of different reviews, a bunch of different figure stuff is all over the channel. Make sure to check it out. This was the Survivor Series Wave 2 figures. Uh, I'm just gonna rate this, rate this series. I'm gonna give it a freaking 9 out of 10. I think the series is amazing. At number one, being my favorite, I'm gonna give it to Jeff Hardy. Number two, Morocco. Nakamura, number three, and Alicia Fox at number four. Hate to throw Alicia at number four, but still awesome figure. That hat's crazy. This series is awesome. It's available at Ringside Collectibles. Discount code live will save 10% on all of these, but I did pick up mine from eBay, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below something awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Fred Alive! out.